Voyager found that Saturn's magnetic field, as Pioneer 11 had already told us, is, uh, is weaker. That is, it's only about 1 20th the strength of Jupiter's magnetic field. That means its magnetic field doesn't extend as far from the planet, about a million miles from the planet. Uh, what Voyager discovered was how rapidly that magnetic field was rotating. The magnetic field at Jupiter rotates with a period just under 10 hours. At Saturn, it turns out, the magnetic field rotates with a period of about 10 hours and 40 minutes. So this was the first measure of the length of the day on Saturn. Turns out, when we finally measured the magnetic field and the radio emissions that are tied to the magnetic field, that the inside of Saturn is moving uh, quite slowly. It's moving more slowly than most of the storms in the atmosphere. And the difference in those speeds translates to 500 meters per second for the winds, which is over a thousand miles an hour. And that made Saturn a lot windier planet than Jupiter. And that was the big surprise for me when, we, when Voyager got there. Voyager 1 approached Saturn in such a way that it flew past Titan before its closest approach to Saturn. That trajectory then, because of the tilt of the satellite system around uh, Saturn, caused the spacecraft to fly low initially and then get deflected as it made its closest approach uh, to Saturn, going through the ring plane, up out of the plane of the ecliptic. 